Hi, Miss Dot here from the library. Today we're going to read 16 words. This is the story of poet William Carlos Williams and the writing of The Red Wheelbarrow. The book is written by Lisa Rogers. Look out the window. What do you see? If you are Dr. William Carlos Williams, you see a wheelbarrow, a drizzle of rain, chickens scratching in the damp earth. Perhaps Dr. Williams is waiting to read a thermometer. Maybe he has just written a prescription, or if his young patient feels up to a game, shuffled a deck of playing cards. He looks up, looks out, and notices. The wheelbarrow belongs to Mr. Thaddeus Marshall. Dr. Williams is the Marshall's family doctor. Day after day, Mr. Marshall picks up his tools, a watering can, a rake, a trowel. He cares for his garden at 11 Elm Street in Rutherford, New Jersey. Stepping around his chickens, he turns the soil, pulls weeds, harvests greens. He plucks ripe vegetables and carries them to his wheelbarrow. Then he lifts the wheelbarrow's handles and balances it on a single tire. His son Milton shoes the chickens away. And Mr. Marshall pushes his wheelbarrow through the streets of Rutherford. He depends on the wheelbarrow to carry the vegetables he sells to his neighbors. Day after day, Dr. Williams also picks up his tools, a stethoscope, syringes, a blood pressure cuff, a thermometer, and more. He packs his black doctor's bag and lifts it by two handles. He cares for patients in his office at Nine Ridge Road. He cares for his patients at their homes. He bandages wounds, checks temperatures, and listens to heartbeats. He treats children with measles and chicken pox. He brings many babies, at least 3,000, into this world. Dr. Williams depends on his doctor's bag to carry the tools he needs. Along with his stethoscope and syringes, he carries a pen, a pen for writing prescriptions, a pen for crafting poems, Writing poems brings Dr. Williams joy, and he fits in his writing around the doctoring. If he's in his office, he uses the time between appointments to tap on his typewriter. He writes about trees, a fire engine, cats, and plums. He chooses the words for his poetry as carefully as he examines his patients. If he is making a house call, he scribbles poems on his prescription pad. He writes about his town and the people who live there. Dr. Williams visits Eleven Elm, where Mr. Marshall and his wife Alice raise their sons, Milton, Hiram, Victor, Leon, and Thaddeus Jr. Perhaps he is there to set a broken arm or to soothe a high fever. Perhaps he is caring for Mr. Marshall, who has been ill. Dr. Williams pauses. He looks out the bedroom window toward the garden. He sees falling rain. It falls on the chickens scrabbling in the dirt, their feathers dingy white. It falls on Mr. Marshall's wheelbarrow, red and weathered, sturdy and strong. The rain streaks the window, soaks the garden, drips into the roots of Mr. Marshall's vegetable plants, helping them grow. Dr. Williams grasps his pen. He begins to write. He writes of what he notices, the wheelbarrow, the chickens, the rain, the yard. He writes a poem using just 16 words. Those 16 words do not describe Mr. Marshall's chicken coop or the train rattling by. They do not describe Mr. Marshall hefting that wheelbarrow 
or the aches and pains he suffers from stooping to care for his plants. They do not describe Mr. Marshall's life of work or caring or love, but somehow they say just that. So much depends upon a red wheelbarrow glazed with rainwater besides the white chicken.